Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I wanted to show you guys a new trade bot that I've been trying out for the past few days. Now I do want to say, I do want to tell you guys before I start this video that I am relatively new with Hasbot. So this is just a general overview. I'm not saying my verdict, or I'm not trying to give you guys some tips on using Hasbot. This is more for people who have never seen Hasbot before, or maybe are considering purchasing it. Uh, but anyways, I'm not going to tell you guys, you know, my full opinion on it yet because I'm not entirely sure about it. I'm still new with it, like I just said. And uh, anyways, let's jump into Hasbot. Now, the first thing I want to say right before we get into the Hasbot uh, overview is just the price of Hasbot. If you guys don't know already, Hasbot is very expensive. I will go ahead and show you uh, the prices here. Uh, so as you can see here, the prices do really start to add up to over, you know, $5,000 per year. Uh, for the most advanced version of Hasbot. Uh, so, you know, Hasbot is definitely not a joke in terms of, you know, its price and uh, all of its software here. So, uh, pretty much one thing, one big difference in between uh, Gunbot and Hasbot is just the extent of the GUI that Hasbot has. Uh, like, for example, here, this is my main screen that I made. Uh, this is a custom dashboard. You can literally make your own custom, custom dashboards and uh, you know, and completely customize it to add whatever uh, you know little icons you want and track whatever you want. So this can not only be used as a trade bot, but literally also you can use this instead of your exchange in order to trade cryptocurrencies because you can monitor multiple uh, currencies. You can you can make trades on here that aren't with the bot. You know, it, it's it's really useful, and there's just so much you can do on this besides. Uh, doing the bot. But anyways, let's let's get into the trade bots. So let me go ahead and show you guys my bot dashboard here. So I've tried uh, Bitcoin to USD Tether, uh, Omizigo to Bitcoin, and then I got uh, these two different bots over here, which I, which I will uh, show you in a second. Um, so let, let's go over to trade bots here. So this is the first type of trade bot that uh, Hasbot has here. So you can go ahead and click the plus, name your bot, choose whatever exchange you want. Uh, that's another really uh, interesting thing about this. You can literally add a bunch of different exchanges on here uh, as long as your license allows that. And uh, let's just say, you know, we want to trade that pair right there. If we go ahead and go on into it, we see right here, I really like this, although this currency seems pretty bad. Uh, but there's a nice chart of the currency right next to it. Uh, and then it gives you some uh, basic info over here. And then there are all of these settings here. So here we have general settings, uh, trade settings. So this is where you'll tell the bot what position you're on, you know, uh, how much you want it to trade. Um, and that's another thing I learned when using this bot. This bot uh, has, uses, pro whenever it gets profit, it leaves it as dust. So, you know, a lot of people ask like, oh, does Gunbot ever have dust? Like small amounts of coin that are left over from trades. Well, uh, Hasbot is sort of built upon dust where all the dust is just profit that you're uh, growing. So then this is where it gets into the you know complicated part on the bot. So we have three, sh three sections when uh, making a new bot. Uh, safeties, indicators, and insurances. Now this is a difference, another difference between Gunbot and Hasbot. Uh, on Hasbot you can literally customize to, you know, you can customize hundreds of different ways uh, to get different outcomes from your trading. So I'll go ahead and show you guys some safeties. These are basically safeties, so if a coin does something, then the bot can stop or sell or buy, whatever. So pretty much, you know, these help with large movements or w predicting the markets. You can customize it fully. You don't need a safety. You don't need any of these, uh, but they're added on just to customize it whatever you, way you want. Next is indicator. Gunbot only has three indicators, uh, which is Bollinger Band, uh, you know, uh, the one where it buys at one price, sells at another, and uh, step gain, whereas this bot, Hasbot, has, you know, hundreds, or, okay, well, not hundreds, but maybe 20 or 30 uh, different indicators. Uh, so it has a ton of different indicators. And then uh, insurances here, we have some insurances. Uh, so these are things like maybe sell, you can only, the bot will only sell if you've made two times the, uh, the fee price for the exchange. So if the fee is 0 0.25, it will only sell if the bot has made at least 0.5% on that trade. So that's something interesting. And here you see the schematic of the bot where you can see you know, what it goes through 
uh, before it makes the trades uh, for the bot. Uh, now, something else that I find really, really interesting about this bot is this very, in, this very, very helpful feature where you can back test the bot. Uh, so I'll go ahead and show you a back test on one of the bots that I uh, have been trying to play around with here. So if I go ahead and back test it, basically what it does is it uses the uh, settings that you have, the insurances, indicators, all the settings you have, and see what profit you would have made if you had been trading it within this time period. So let's go ahead and say I was using this bot for the past two weeks. It'll go ahead and tell me all my profit from it uh, on this graph here. So I'm not really sure what to expect because I haven't been trading with this bot that much. But uh, let's go ahead and see here. All right, so if I, have, if I was trading with this trade bot, uh, for the past two weeks, it would have made five trades, which were all uh, profit, and I would have made 5% uh, on my USD tether. And this is including uh, fees, so this subtracts the total fee cost. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. I think it's very useful because you don't really have to be, you know, you don't have to guess as much when it comes to settings. You can just test it out right here. And that brings me to another section on the bot, which I really like which is indicator scanner so pretty much you can put in your coin here uh you know your indicator everything pretty much and then it tells you the optimal settings for that indicator so you know that's another thing where you don't have to guess as much it it does the work for you and that's something that i really like uh, when looking at trade bots uh, so the next one is custom bots over here so this is a different type of bot so pretty much whenever you have it here uh, the different type of trading methods here i'll go ahead and show you right here the bot type so there are a bunch of different bot types um and i've been trying out scalper because uh, i had someone request well i had someone show me show me a uh, scalper on trading view and i thought it was giving a really good buy and sell signal so i've been trying it out with uh, dmd and uh, dash so that's that's another type of bot that you can run on here uh, and then there's, you know, this is just to help with trading. So there's market view. So this is pretty much if you don't want to use, you know, if you don't want to use Bittrex to trade, right? You can literally uh, use your API key and you can just make trades like this, right? So it pretty much eliminates trading view exchanges. You can just go on here and, uh, you know, pretty much just check whatever you want. You can even, you know, draw in lines like on tra uh, trading view and everything. So, you know, I think that's that's really interesting. Uh, then you have market compare. These are just more settings to help you, you know, view what the bots are doing or uh, trade on your own. Uh, indicator scanner, that's what I just showed you guys. Uh, order template builder. I'm not entirely sure on what this does, but I'm sure if some of you guys uh, will in the comments. Um, and then obviously wallet, assets, and open positions. So that's just a general overview of a uh, Hasbot. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, up here, there are just some more extra things, uh, wallet, trade now, open positions, log out. And uh, this is run on a server, so you, so you do have to leave this open, uh, but it, it's, it's pretty much like on a server, so you have to log into it. Um, and yeah, so I will be making a video in the future, uh, like a general review of the bot, like how much profit I've made, whether it's really worth you know, all that money per year. Uh, now I will just say now that that obviously depends on how much you're going to trade with the bot, but uh, yeah, I think this is really interesting. Uh, stay tuned for more videos about it, and thanks for watching, guys.